A very wonderful morning to my esteemed listener. I am Jemi Grisman Aduluju, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Salmon that you are road, Ibadan, Nigeria, welcoming you to today's edition of our program, Daily Impact. We have been looking at the subject of our roots, visiting the roots. We have said every manifestation in the life of a man is traceable to his roots. Every happening in a family can be traced to the root of that family. So what is at the root of your life is significant because it determines happenings in your life. It also determines your destination in life. If a man would fail, that failure has been at the root of his life. And if a man will succeed, success is at the root of his life. If a man will make it to eternity with God, then the root must be altered positively to fit in to that kingdom. We have identified your bloodline as one major root that has to be dealt with and may be transformed if need be. If what is in your family line, your bloodline, is not pleasant, you have a responsibility to react against it, to cry out to God just like Jabesh and cry to God for a change and a transformation. Jabesh did just that in First Chronicles chapter 4. Uh, you look at the story of his family from verse 1 and getting to verses 9 and 10, Jabesh reacted and he cried to God for a change and his bloodline was changed positively for him. We also saw yesterday salvation in Christ Jesus as the most important foundation in the life of a man. For other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, which is Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus is that firm foundation for a life of color, for a life of glory. Dear listener, I am a testimony, a living witness, a living testimony of what Christ Jesus can do in the life of a man. I am a living testimony and a witness of how Christ can alter the narratives of a man's life by su surrendering your life to Jesus, by accepting him as your Lord and Savior. He has the power to deliver you from every grief from your father or mother's house. He has the ability to take you to dimensions beyond your imagination and to take you beyond the limits of your father's house. The word of God says concerning our Savior, that this God is mighty to save. Jesus is mighty to save. And so it becomes the most important root, the most important person in the foundation of our life. I'd like us to look at point number three, another very significant foundation for a man's life is your faith. Faith is very critical. It is the currency of exchange in the kingdom. A man's faith is at the root of his value system. A man's faith is at the root of his beliefs. A man's faith is at the root of his actions. Faith, the Bible describes it as the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith, don't forget, is at the root of your value system, is at the root of your beliefs, is at the root of your actions. If you notice the fundamentalism of some Islamic adherents, you will see how their faith has affected or is affecting their value system and their beliefs and of course their actions. It is their faith, what they believe in, that makes them kill other people, believing that they are doing that for the sake of their God and their religion. It is their belief, their faith, that affects their belief system and their values. They have no value for human beings. And that's why you could see a man take a, a knife and slaughter another human being because he has no value for man for that man. That is at the root of his belief system. He believes the more people he kills, the, the closer he will get to God. He believes if he kills more men, more infidels, then when he dies, he will be entitled to have about 40, some say 70 virgins that Allah would give to him as a reward 
for killing infidels. So he goes on out to kill because this is at the root of his faith and it is very difficult to tamper with what is at the root of a man's life. The root is very simple, very important. And that's why the Bible says, if the foundation be destroyed, if the foundation be faulty, what can even the righteous man do? So you look at this man who is killing her. That's, that is the root of his life. That is what has been ingrained into him. That is what he has imbibed. That is his faith. The more people he kills, the closer he gets to God. How wrong could any man be? The question now, dear listener, is what is at the root of your life? What do you believe? Faith involves the heart as well as the mouth. You can enable or disable the answers to your prayers by the words of your mouth. Your faith, what you believe in your heart, is expressed in your mouth or with your mouth. It is revealed in your actions, in what you do. Don't forget, this is at the base, at the root of your life. And it is what determines your value system, what you value, if you value others, that is what is at the root of your life, your faith. It is a product of your faith. If you help, you help people, it is a function, a product of your faith. If you are the one that gives, that assists others, it is at the root. It is the, the faith that is in you. So your actions are determined by your root, by your faith, and by your belief system. So faith involves the heart, what a man believes in his heart, as well as his mouth. What he believes in the heart that he expresses with his mouth. And don't forget, I repeat, a man can disable or enable answers to his prayers or requests by the words of his mouth. In 2 Corinthians chapter number 4 and in verse number 13, the Apostle Paul was writing to the Corinthians, he has said that we having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak. It is evident, therefore, from this passage of scriptures, that faith is a spirit. It is this spirit that moves a man to do whatever he does, the spirit of faith. So whatever a man believes as a spirit, that coordinates and controls that belief, that controls the actions connected to that belief or to that faith, just like the example we gave. And so your belief system, it is at the root of your life and it is a spirit. Paul the Apostle said here, we also have been the same spirit of faith same spirit of faith so faith is a spirit or as a spirit and this spirit is a speaking spirit paul said we believe and therefore have we spoken and so the nature of this faith is that number one it believes with the heart there must be a belief you are so resolute you have so strong confidence and faith in the ability of god don't forget faith is confidence in the testimony of another person. You have confidence in the testimony of God, in the testimony of Jesus. You have confidence in what Jesus said about himself. That is belief in your heart. Number two, it is the confession of your mouth. What you believe is expressed with your mouth. You speak. This faith is a speaking faith. Paul said, we believe, therefore we speak. You cannot believe and not speak. If you believe, you must speak. Don't forget, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. You have to open your mouth and declare the things you want to see. You must not speak as you see. Rather, you must speak as you desire to see. It is very important, dear listener, and I pray that the spirit of faith will enter into you the spirit of faith in Christ Jesus. The spirit of faith, the faith of God will enter into you and enable you to prosper in all your doings in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. I'd like you to lift up your voice in prayers this morning and say, Father, clothe me with the spirit of faith in Christ in the name of Jesus. The spirit of faith in you, the living God, Clothe me with that spirit. 
shall we begin to pray. A Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will clothe me with the spirit of faith in Christ Jesus, the spirit of faith in you, O God. Clothe me with that spirit. Help me, O God, in Jesus' precious name. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Father, I eject from my life and my destiny every faulty value, every faulty belief, every faulty value and belief. I eject them. I eliminate them from my heart in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for a reformatting of my belief system in the name of Jesus. I every faulty value is flushed out. Every faulty belief is ejected. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. I'd like you to begin to confess with your mouth now what you believe in your heart. Begin to speak the things you desire to see and declare by the spirit of faith, I am a victor. I am an overcomer. I am a winner. I prevail in the name of Jesus over every situation and circumstance confronting me. I overcome, I win. I declare profit upon my life, upon my business, upon my endeavors. I declare profit, I declare success upon my family, upon my children, upon my business, upon my ministry. I declare profit, I declare success in the name of Jesus. I decree open doors, I see doors open for me. I declare and I decree safety upon my ways. I declare favor upon my life and destiny. I am favored. Every direction I face, favor locates me. Good things locate me. Help locate me. Assistance locate me. Help us locate me. God's name is glorified in my life and in my destiny. In Jesus' precious name. And so shall it be as you have declared with your mouth by the spirit of faith. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. There will be two sessions of the Great 10 Days at Chilo program today. Today is day seven, and we are meeting 6 a.m. today and 5.30 p.m. in the evening. I'd like you to join us at 6 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. It promises to be explosive. God has been doing some awesome things in the lives of his people. And so I look forward to having you in our midst today. And the God of heaven will give you great signs and great wonders in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, it's our season, your season of infallible proofs. You may wish to join either or both of these services on any of our social media platforms. On Facebook at LICCNG1, on Twitter at LICCNG, or on YouTube at Lighthouse International Christian Center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on other social media platforms. My handle is at Jenny Grisman. Until I come your way again tomorrow for another exciting edition of our program, I am Jenny Grisman at Duluji, wishing you a very glorious day and 